motor nerds. Actually, you know, to tell you the truth, uh, the mountain bike videos that I've been doing are doing okay, so maybe it's not motor nerds, maybe it's MTB nerds. As you can see, there's snow, and we might be done for the year here as far as mountain biking goes, but last time I had you, I told you I was going to bring you in and basically give you a view on my IXS Trail RS helmet that I use for trail mountain biking. Uh, I already did the Fox Meta review with you, or Meta, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll get set up and we'll get into this IXS Trail RS helmet review. Here we go. All right guys, welcome back into the race shop. Here we are as you can see, there's all the girls. Uh, I don't know if you can see the trail bike, I'm actually doing a project, I'm doing an ultimate trail bike build. So, uh, working on that. Uh, like I showed you, there's snow already. We're practicing for the upcoming motocross season and it looks like it's about time to put the mountain bikes away for the winter. So we might be doing that. But like I promised you, the um, IXS Trail RS, let's take a look at it. We'll go over to the bench. All right, here's the two lids. You remember the Fox Meta from the last one and then the IXS Trail RS. Obviously, we already reviewed the Fox Meta, so let's go ahead. We'll get rid of that one. IXS Trail RS. We're gonna say so. Basically, this is the first like mountain biking helmet I ever bought. It's a real mountain bike helmet. You know, it's got the the lower back, so it's gonna cover the back of your neck, and that's really what I was looking for when I bought the first one. When I bought this one, I was riding a Trek Marlin Seven. Um, but since I've then mountain biking or whatever, I actually, like I told you in my last video with the Fox Meta where it runs a little large because I got the large, extra large, and I should have got the, I guess, small medium on that. This one runs more true to size. The size on this one is medium large, if you can see it in there, and it fits spot on. It has the same EPS liner that you're going to find with most of them, okay? It has these inserts. Um, I don't remember this coming with two, so I just have... Uh, the one liner, but it fits pretty true to size and pretty good right off the bat. It's also got this nice um, cover for your chin strap so you can keep your extra material bound in there and then it's not flopping around. Basically the same as the Meta, flip it open, you can adjust your Y straps as necessary. It has the one-handed ratcheting on it. It's super light, it's super comfortable. Actually, I, I would say it might be a little bit more comfortable than the Fox Meta was as I was wearing it. This, unlike the Fox Meta 2, doesn't have a fixed visor. So you have three screws on this one, and you can adjust it up and down as you want. Um, obviously it has tons of venting. It flows air good, it breathes good, and it actually, I wear this a lot when I'm riding um, the hybrid as well, but um, ideally it is the it is actually the helmet I wear the most in the trails. So I really like it. It's a decent price point. I will uh, put up a, vi a picture with the helmet with the price point on it and maybe a couple little statistics about it from IXS. But overall, super pumped. Like I said, currently it's my favorite helmet. It might not look quite as awesome as the Fox Meta, but as far as comfort, true sizing. Uh, affordability this is the way to go for me right now I'm looking to buy a Troy Lee helmet next with um, I think they have MIPS in theirs so I'm gonna look for that but right now these are my two helmets now IXS I would give it actually five out of five stars it's true to size super comfortable breathes good looks good and it offers the protection that you want all right guys I guess instead of keep it pinned since you're not moto nerds you're MTB nerds pedal hard <laughs> 